shoes get them to water for food for church just to go visit somebody mona purdy is leaving her footprints all over the world this former hairstylist is sharing her souls with needy families from some of the world's poorest countries we've gone to ecuador Peru, we've shipped to the Amazon and Brazil and Colombia. Uh, now my big project is in Africa. Purdy's global mission to help others get back on their feet in a good pair of shoes began in 1999. That's when she ran a marathon in Guatemala, an experience that she says changed her life. I had my $100 pair of shoes on and I'm ready to roll at one in the afternoon. It was sweltering hot. So as we were running, in rough terrain, I saw little kids running along the road with us and they had no shoes on. And I was like, why don't these kids have shoes? And they said their parents can't afford them. So I'm like, oh, we're, we're gonna go home and change this. And so she set out to fulfill her promise. Purdy created a charity called Share Your Souls. At first, she ran it out of her garage. Word got out and the shoes came rushing in, hundreds of thousands of them. Within two years, Purdy had to move into a larger space. Now, more than two million pairs of shoes have been shipped to people in more than 30 countries. Our mission is to provide gently worn slash new shoes to those in the world that don't have them. Today, Share Your Souls continues its mission out of this warehouse in Chicago's Pullman neighborhood. Volunteers from around the state come here to help Purdy receive, sort, organize, and box donated shoes. Okay, why don't you put them in here, Jojo? James Hughes and his family have been donating shoes since 2012. His daughter, Jordan, wanted to share and help the environment, too. I came home at night and she'd done about a week of research on uh, different organizations that we can donate shoes to. And she came across Share Your Souls. And for the last three years, we've been collecting and donating shoes, A, to keep them out of landfills and uh, uh, help those in need around the world. Last summer, James, his wife Debbie, and their three kids collected more than 8,000 shoes. The family loaded up a U-Haul truck, drove 30 miles from their home, and delivered the footwear to the warehouse. I think it's an unbelievable experience for the family. I mean, even though it's a lot of time, it's a simple way to spread good deeds around the world, you know? It's a great learning experience for our, our kids to be able to do something for other children and adults across the world. And just knowing that they're helping someone have their first pair of shoes. Bernie says the shoes collected by the Hughes will help families in Africa. They made it a family affair. They extended it to their family, friends, neighbors, and the gym that they both work at. So the word gets out, and the kids grow up being kinder adults. And with all the hate in the world, we need a lot more love.